Now the next one say multiplying conjugate binomials. A conjugate means I have the exact same terms, they just have the opposite sign in the middle. And there's a special thing that happens when you do that and you'll find out when you FOIL it out. So we're still just going to FOIL it like we normally do. If I looked at that, I'd say, oh, I'm multiplying binomials, got to FOIL. So b times b, b squared, b, squared, b times a minus 8. Minus 8b, minus 8b. A positive 8 times b? 8b. Positive 8b. And a positive 8 times a negative 8? 0. Times. Oh, times. 64? Negative. 64, right? Yeah, negative. Now, if you look at them two middle terms when you combine them, they're opposites, right? So they're going to cancel out, so what we're going to end up with is b squared minus 64. They call that the difference of perfect squares, because b squared is a perfect square and 64 is also a perfect square. Difference means you're subtracting the two things. So, later on we'll do what's called factoring, where we'll start with the difference of perfect squares and we have to come up with what we multiplied together to get them. And so if you start recognizing, oh, this answer goes with this kind of problem, makes your factoring easier. So when we multiply conjugates, we should end up with the difference of perfect squares. So number five, when we multiply that, we would have... First four. Four. <clears throat> Plus 60. Inside. Negative 60. Negative 60. And the last. Negative 9d squared. So my middle terms are opposites. They're going to cancel out. So my answer is just going to be 4 minus 9d squared. 4 is a perfect square, and 9d squared happens to be a perfect square. <laughs> so number 6, if we FOIL that one out. V squared, my outside, negative 20V, negative 20 my inside, plus 20V, and my last. So when I cancel out my middle terms, my answer is 16V squared minus 25.